My eyes opened with the sound of the alarm screaming its shrill tone, alerting me to the arrival of another day. A practice motion of my arm brings blessed silence, allowing me to ponder the choice of another few minutes of sleep, or I can lay here for a moment and bring myself to fully functional before I truly get up. If today is like any of the other hundreds that came before it, it will be the latter. I sit up, allowing myself time to acclimate myself to my bedroom, which seems foreign to me after my nightly hibernation, wrapped tightly in a cocoon of blankets. It appears to be the same as it was before I slept, but just like every morning when I rise, it seems to me just a slightly bit different. I scan the room, taking mental stock of the contents, making note of anything that is even the slightest bit out of place. This morning doesn't seem so bad, only two things that are different. The font of the movie poster seems wrong, and when did I get an autographed photo of Tim Curry? My alarm screams out again, reminding me that nine minutes have passed since it tried waking me up before. Make that three things. That alarm sound is different than before. I reach over and shut the alarm off. It would be easier to keep track of everything if I wrote it all down. Believe me, I have tried. I gave up after about a week of waking up to no notebook or file on my computer, which reminds me that I need to check my email. I'm not sure why, but something in the far reaches of my brain tells me that it's important. I reach out to turn on my screen and the computer springs to life. The web browser is open, displaying a purchase confirmation for a movie titled Numb. I close that screen and check my email, the order confirmation for the movie, notifications about likes and comments on my social media, and spam. No idea what I thought was so pressing. I make my way to the bathroom. As I flip the switch, I see him. The image in the mirror is not me. He kind of looks like me, but the features are wrong. The jawline, the crook in his nose, even the little scar running lengthwise over his left eyebrow. These are just a few things that set him apart. I can say without a shadow of a doubt, that is not me. The notification for my email goes off, alerting me to a new message. I stare at the reflection in the mirror, taking it all in. My email alert chimes again, and again several more times, breaking my intense study of this new face. I walk back to my desk, intent on looking at the sudden deluge of email messages when I spot my wallet. My driver's license would have my face on it. I slip the plastic card from its sleeve and see all my information as accurate as I know it, but the photo is the man in the mirror. I sit down at my desk and open up the folder on my computer which holds all my pictures. I screw through them all, each one is the same, they are all him. I reach the last one and watch in utter disbelief as the photo changes before me. The sound of the incoming email tone rings through again. I open my mailbox and see dozens of new messages, all of them with the subject line of response, I'm changing again. They all have similar responses. Me too.